This is One on One. We are pleased to be uh, joined here on Public Television uh, by Dave Brandon, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Toys R Us, Inc. Good to see you, Dave. It's great to be here, Steve. Thanks. Uh, for those who don't really understand, well, I can't even imagine. It's a pretty ridiculous question. Everybody gets the Toys R Us brand, but you and I were talking right before we got on the air. The emotional connection. Talk about that. Yes, it's fascinating. I've, I've been in this job now for just under a year, and I encounter all kinds of people in my various walks of life, and I tell them that I'm the CEO of Toys R Us, and the first thing that happens is they tell me a story. Mm. They tell me a story about what they remember as a child, what they remember of taking their kids or their grandkids. There's an emotional connection associated with Toys R Us that's very unique and very special and something that we can really use to really spur some growth in this company. What does that mean, use to spur some growth? Well, what we're all about is building a brand. And, and our job is to create a connection with that brand, with as many consumers as we can. And a lot of people, because we're named Toys R Us, think of us as only a toy company, and certainly that's a big part of who we are, but we also own and operate the Babies R Us that's right. chain. And so our opportunity is to connect with young families really early. I mean, literally, moms are registering with us before they have their first child. And our opportunity is to connect with that family, create that emotional connection through those first few years of life as a mm. baby, and then follow that family all the way up until the early teens when they're still buying toys. So interesting, uh, as a Jersey guy, if you will, up on Route 46, and our audience is in this vast tri-state region and beyond. Up on Route 46, uh, I'm in Wayne, there's a Toys R Us. Babies R Us is in the area, Close right? by, Close yes. by, right? But as you go into the Toys R Us on Route 46, you know, there's everything there. I mean, our daughter, who happens to be five right now, goes to the art section. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, people think toys are, I mean, she, yeah, everyone, they love the toys, but there's an art section and so many other sections there. If you were to describe what is there, they, you know, it's not everything, but it's a heck of a lot more than toys. Yes, it's, we have anywhere from 16 to 18,000 items in a, in a Toys R Us store. And as you move through the store, you'll see everything from arts and crafts to books to read, to games to play, to all the various toys and, and opportunities for this whole STEM initiative, talk about teaching that. young people. What, what really um, a lot of parents are looking for today is they're worried that their kids are staring at these pads all day long and they're connecting with all these licensed properties that are on Nickelodeon and various networks and they worry that their children are so fixated on these electronic devices that they're losing some of the skills and some of the um, social interactions that come sure. with some of the toys that we grew up. Can they playing. actually learn is the question. Sure. And you guys think about that. Yeah, we really do. I mean, we really work with our vendors to make sure that we have a, a very good selection of toys that that are teaching math and mm. that we get really involved in the early stages of engineering and learning mm. how things operate. They were looking at a lot like that. And I love that section too. Yes. With the trains and everything else, where, and the cars. Where the child can interact and learn as part of the play experience. Real quick, I want to ask you about this, your sports background, sports coaching, big part of your life, a big yeah. part of your leadership philosophy. Talk about that. Yeah, I went to the University of Michigan. I was on a football oh, that scholarship little place? there. Yes, yes. Football scholarship. Played for a guy named Bo Schembechler. Oh, that guy. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> and, uh, and I learned a lot in the classroom at the University of Michigan, but I think I learned even more being a part of a, a program. We won the Big Ten Championship three years in a row. We lost one game in three years, and I watched how Bo built his staff and how he recruited not only talent but attitude and how he set goals and how he rallied young people around a common purpose and how we prepared, how hard we practiced, and how we approached each game with a strategic plan as to how we would take our strengths and use them in such a way that we'd achieve a great outcome. You take that here? I take that here. It's, it's what you do as a CEO of, a, of any organization. You're a, you're a teacher, you're a coach, and really you're preparing that organization to go into a very competitive environment and win. 
and the online thing doesn't throw you off. You're like, this is the environment. Yes, it's the environment. And so we have a web store. And in fact, we're spending a lot of money investing in a building a brand new web store that we're really excited about. We're going to compete in that space because customers want to buy on the web. And we want to be uh, an easy, accessible way to do that. But we also want to complement that with a great experience at our bricks and mortar stores. I've got to ask you this as a student of leadership. People know one on one. I ask this all the time. Uh, I wrote this book called Lessons in Leadership. Number one leadership lesson you've learned, both in sports and as a CEO, maybe the same lesson. Well, the, the best advice I ever got to be a leader in business was from my father. And my dad um, had a high school education. He was a journeyman electrician. He never ran an organization. He never had the opportunity to go to college. I got my first promotion when I got out of school. I worked for Procter & Gamble. And I got my first promotion where I was going to finally be the boss. And I called my dad all excited to tell him about how you know his son was getting promoted into this position. And I said, Dad, do you have any advice for me? Because I'm about to inherit a team that I'm going to be responsible for. And he said, well, Dave, the only advice I can give you is you should find out how people want to be treated and treat them that way. The golden rule. Yeah, find out how people want to be treated and treat them that way. It's a great, it's a great lesson, and it's a basic fundamental in how you relate and connect with people. Doesn't get old. Dave uh, Brandon, chairman and chief executive officer of a... Uh Heck of a brand, Toys R Us, based in Wayne, but uh, just a few stores and also online. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dave, for joining us. Great to be with you, Steve. Appreciate Pleasure. it. Well done. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Hackensack University Health Network. Hackensack University Medical Center Foundation, Investors Bank, Felician University, New Jersey Resources, the North Ward Center, and by Cone Resnick. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.